Hey, Coach, man, what time is it? Oh, Slim, you know what time it is. Six o'clock, straight up and down. It's Homespun Sports with Coach John Montgomery. Sports talk with a twist of down-home wisdom. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're so glad you are here once again. You tuned in to Home Spun Sports. It's Sports Talk with just a twist of down home wisdom. I am your host, John W. Montgomery II, the coach. And I'm right here in good old H-Town, Houston, Texas, way up there in Dell City, Oklahoma. <laughs> My show enough ride or die the last pee in the shell, my baby boy. What's up, Slim? Had to change the location, but nothing changing over here, though, Coach. <laughs> Still man. feeling good. <laughs> yeah, man, so good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, we had every intention of having our very special guest, Rex Ryan, on our show. He's contractually obligated to ESPN. And they told Rex he could not do any podcast, even with him, even for his for his boy that he go back to 1996 with ESPN. Don't care about that. So Rex couldn't be here, but hey, we're gonna dedicate this show to you, Rex, and uh, <laughs> and we gonna get the ball rolling. Okay, let's now? do it, coach. Let's do it. All let's right do it. So hey, once and again, it's time for Slim's Pinky. Pick that thing away, boy. What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on here? The Bison of Howard University has been a member of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference since 1970. And they are leaving to join the Colonial Athletic Conference. Now, this all is supposed to take place in the year 2023-2024, that school year. The move will leave the MEAC with five schools that play football and six schools that play basketball. Now, in 2018, the Hampton, excuse me, in 2018, Hampton jumped from the Big South, uh, the Big South Conference. Three years later, North Carolina A&T joins the Big South. It's all about the money, y'all. Trust me. Howard a member of the MEAC conference since 1970. Hampton has been a member of the CIAA conference since its birth in 1912. They've played HBCU level competition for 23 years. Now, going on with the MEAC, that's 106 years of HBCU athletic competition. North Carolina A&T originally a CIAA member before joining the big before joining the MEAC conference, they had 50 years of HBCU athletic competition and being affiliated uh, in the conference now in the Big South. Well, Howard Bison, North Carolina A&T Aggies, and the Hampton Pirate football fans, I got some news for y'all, good and bad. The bad news is there's now only going to be one surefire comp. There's only going to be one, you know, good halftime performance. The good news is you're going to make a lot, a lot more money. Now, the NFL draft will commence in earnest on Thursday, April 28th. We're right around the corner. And I believe the first player to hear his name being called from an HBCU will be Joshua Williams from Fayetteville State University. At 6'3", 190 pounds, Williams impressed the Pro Scouts at the Combine with his explosiveness and his speed, ran a 4440. But on top of all that, ladies and gentlemen, he acted like he belonged there. 
Stay tuned, sports fans. And that's Slim's Pickens. That's a hell of a job, young man. Hey, and, and I tell you something else, Slim. I was listening to what you said about the uh, about the HBCU schools going to the Colonial League. It's another good thing that's going to happen. Uh, since since it's not going to be but one good halftime show, mm -hmm. they can have. They now they can take a little bit longer to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. and, and, and get some halftime refreshments, Coach. There you I go. mean, at least you're going to make some time for that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah no question. So, 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 Slim, you talked about that boy Joshua uh, Williams. Joshua Williams. Yeah. Slim, I'm telling you, man, I'm hearing that he – I'm just like you, bro. I like what I hear about him. Slim, he's six foot three. Mm -hmm. You hear anywhere between 195 to 200 pounds. And, he, and Slim, he's young, man. He young. He's 22, Coach. He's That's just a talking. puppy. See, Slim, he's just a puppy. And, and you know what a puppy, right now, there ain't nothing up there but skin and gristle. And okay? gristle, yeah. Yep. Slim, but Slim, as soon as his balls drop, look out. He's going to be a full-grown dog. I'm and talking about does, coach, Mel Blunt. Come, come on. Got that kind of potential. Hey, hey. Male blood. Uh, this kid could be 215, 20 pounds. Male blood. Tell you another guy, Willie Brown. Same mm. kind of, same kind of. But you said a key thing right there when you said that he acted like he belonged. See, Slim, this year's draft is a great year for wide receiver talent. You got that boy Drake London from USC, Traylon Burks from Arkansas. You Jameson got, Williams from Alabama. Well, Jameson Williams didn't work out at the combine, though, but you see what you got, Garrett Wilson? You got Garrett Wilson? Uh, uh, yeah, but this is a good year. Chris Olave from Ohio State. There's some good talent. And Slim, there could be as many as 10 to 12 first-rounders at this year's draft, wide receivers. Mm -hmm. And the word is that I heard is, is that boy Joshua Williams got right up in their grill, dog. I mean, he acted like he belonged. Yeah. And, and, and Slim, let's not kid ourselves. These NFL people, they know if you were the HBCU on Friday night, you eat that you eat that Friday night dinner at Golden Corral. At Golden Corral. Okay. Yep. Pig out, all you can eat. I get it. Uh, uh, they grilling the, the sirloin. And you get all that you want. To, leaving out the restaurant, you get a big handful of that candy corn. Stick it in your pocket and go and get on the bus. Yeah. Okay. Friday night in D one, you are at the Marriott, and they have a catered meal in a private banquet hall. You don't oh, leave the hotel, coach. I, I, you don't hear me. And and what this boy Joshua Williams showed. Okay, mm -hmm. is is that he belonged? Friday, yeah. Friday night, you get to the game at HBCU, you probably on the bus. Probably on the bus. You, in D1, you in D you in D1, one, you on the jet. Yeah, but he acted like he belonged. That's the same mm -hmm. thing I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, coach, in the NBA, uh, we say it all the time in the game, in in in, in, in on our show. People lie, numbers don't. The Brooklyn right. Nets right now are down zero to three in the series with the Boston Celtics. Kevin Durant says, you know, I'm, I'm overthinking it out there. You know, I'm overthinking. I don't know how much overthinking you can do with 16 points shooting 52 for sitting 19 for 52 from the field. That coach is a 36.5 percentage. Do you think the Pelicans are done? Because nobody's ever come back from 3-0 deficit. Yeah, you pretty much. Stick a Nets, excuse me. You think the Nets are done? I, you can stick a fork in the nets, no okay. question. They yeah. done. Yeah, stick a fork in them. Now, coach, I gotta, I gotta renege a little bit on my word because I remember early on in our show, we, I said that the Ben Simmons James Harden trade benefited the the Nets more because Simmons is a better facilitator. He does mm -hmm. more stuff than Harden did. Yep. At least he on the court, coach. At least Harden can contribute in these playoffs. He like, hey man, I know I'm only good for about 15, 16, and ten a night. But hey, I'm trying. Yeah, well, you know, you've been a big fan. You've been a fan of the beard all along. Uh, I got off the beard when he laid down on him when he was a Houston Rocket. He and now he's soft as drugstore cotton. But you're right; they got the better off with the beard, no question. Yeah. Now, coach, the Pelicans—they're down in the series right now, two to one to the Suns. Mm -hmm. 
Zion Williamson has been in the league for three years, and he's only played about 85 games. In your opinion, Coach, are the Pelicans too soft on Zion, or is Zion just soft in general? I think it's a little of both. Uh, but I told you all the time, Slim, I mean, you followed me all, all over the country in coaching. Uh, you sat in my meetings since you was big enough to crawl up in the chair. Potential will get you fired. Bingo. And so far, any way you slice it, Zion Williams ain't been nothing. Williams ain't Williamson ain't been nothing but potential. That's all he's been. Now I saw the video, it's gone viral. Him 360. Boom. Boom, slamming it down. Okay. Well, that don't mean diddly squat to me if you ain't out there on that hardwood helping my team win games. To me, Loki coach, that actually means that I don't want to be here. I'm, I'm I'm over here advertising like, hey, I'm not hurt because you know he, the reason why he's not playing right now, coach, is he's nursing uh, an ankle, a, 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 a leg a foot. injury, it's a, a foot, foot injury. Exactly. How do you 360 duck? You do all that stuff with a broke leg? I think you hit on a key word a minute ago, my friend, when you said he's advertising. So the thing that I'm also hearing is that Zion Williamson does not want to be in New Orleans. He does not want to be a Pelican. But again, to me, he's potential. You know what, Slim? They coming out with this in 2023. They coming out with this Z06, okay? This bad boy, that Corvette. Slim is a bad boy. Yeah, they coming back with the Z06. Ooh, Slim is a bad boy for 2023. I miss that model, Coach. Slim, Slim. This Z06 for 2023. Yeah. Got 600 and got 670 horsepower. Got 470 foot pounds of torque. Now, Slim, yeah. now, Slim. It's going to sticker right around 65, 70,000. But now, you know, you know, I'm in, you know, you know, your man says, You're in the car business. You're yeah. in the car business. I'm in the car business. Car business. Yeah. Now, in the car business right now, we have a term called the market adjustment price. Mm. Well, the market adjustment price on this Corvette going to be somewhere around twenty to 30,000 over the sticker. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And you can take that Z06, fill it with premium gasoline. Premium, coach. Premium, you don't hear me. And drive it up in, I put it in your driveway. But, but, but Slim, if I take the keys, hell, I'd have done you a better service giving you a bicycle. <laughs> I don't need no key to push a bicycle, coach. <laughs> well, if, if I put that Z06 in your driveway and I keep the keys, listen, and that's, that's all Zion Williamson is. Just like they call that sitting in your driveway with no keys, that's potential. That's Coach, that's 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 twenty k. Not to mention tax title. And life. Listen, listen, <laughs> that's what Zion Williamson is right now. Potential. You know what, Slim? Like I said, if I take the keys, mm -hmm. I've done. But I've done you a better service giving you a bicycle. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree, Coach. Now, <laughs> in uh, in the NFL, okay, the the Jets tried so hard to sign Tyreek Hill. They lost out. All right. Now, the talk has it, they want Debo Samuels. And the Jets got nine picks in the first round. They got two. Well, excuse me. They got nine picks total. They got two in the first round with the fourth and the tenth pick. And they're trying to go after Debo Samuels with the tenth pick. What's your mm -hmm. take? Well, uh, that's what I'm hearing as well. And, and there's no question that Debo Samuel is a talent. You know, Slim, Debo Samuel for 2021 had 1,405 yards worth of receptions, okay? Mm -hmm. He, listen, Slim, he caught, he scored six touchdowns catching the ball. But Slim, if you look back on the 2021 season, mm -hmm. when San Francisco really turned the corner and started getting good was when they went to, when they put him at tailback and started handing him that rock. Hey, yeah. Slim, Slim. Debo Samuel scored eight touchdowns on the ground and rushed for 365 yards. Milton, all told, Debo Samuel Coach. had 
Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel had 1,770 yards. Milton, that's the fourth largest point production in the NFL last season. And and, and Debo saying, I'm a wide out. I ain't no running back. <laughs> what, he what? Account, coach, he accounted, he accounted for 28% of the 49ers offense last season. 28%. There's no, there's no question about it. And he done made it plain. I ain't no running back. Uh, what deal you been saying? I don't want to do it. My iron is low. I do something else. I do oh. Something else. <laughs> yeah, D, yeah, Debo, Debo Samuel, just like Dio Hugh. No. Now, coach, uh, besides Debo Samuels, we got some. Uh, we got some other situations we got to talk about. There have been two veteran quarterbacks right now that could have different teams before this draft is over, if not sooner. Mm -hmm. Talking about Kyler Murray yep. and Jimmy G. Yep, Jimmy Garoppolo. There's no question. Uh, that could happen. You know, Mildred, uh, uh, Kyler Murray is frustrated. Uh, I will be too, Coach. When is this? When, coach, when have you known a successful organization to pay the head man, the GM, but not the franchise player? That's right. That's right. It's, it's, just the, function, coach. it's the definition of of dysfunctionality, okay? The, the, the Phoenix Cardinals, no question. And I end your spot on correct. Jimmy Garoppolo is another situation that Mildred, and I'm telling you, man, uh, in the first place, the 49ers promised uh, Trey Lance, the kid that they moved up and took in the first round in last year's draft, that for 2022, he's our guy. Mm -hmm. They said that. Said that. So, so you're sitting there as this draft thing is about to commence on Thursday. And Mildred, we've said it numerous times on this show, veteran quarterback movement will define this year's draft. And, and, and I'm just telling you, Slam, uh, I'm real anxious to see what's going to happen with, uh, with Atlanta in their quarterback situation. They ain't got none. I'm real what's going to happen with Seattle? Oh. <laughs> Because they ain't got no quarterback neither, coach. They ain't got nothing either. They, they ain't got that either. So, so uh, this draft, it, it starts Thursday, and uh, that's going to be very interesting to see by the time the smoke settles where those two veterans will be. You mentioned the start of the draft, coach. I'm going to tell you where it starts. It's going to start with the second pick. You think exactly. so? We already know Jacksonville got their franchise quarterback and Sun and Sunshine locked up. Mm -hmm. They either gonna go, they either gonna go tackle or the safe pick with defensive end Aiden Hutchinson. You can't miss. But the draft starts with the second pick. What does Detroit do? And if not the second coach, it's certainly gonna start with the sixth pick. With Carolina, what's Carolina gonna do? Well, you bring your spot on, young man. So let's do this now. Let's go. Through the first 10 and i'll give you my take and then okay. it's time and it's time permits after we get fast the first 10 there's a couple more that i want to chime in on before we get out of here okay because i see you because i see you've been you've been making your mock draft on facebook if y'all have not if y'all ladies and gentlemen if y'all have not seen uh coach's facebook page he has gone through the first round and and basically said what everybody needs to do come on break it down for me coach jacksonville's at one what what's up Jacksonville's at one, Mildred, and uh, Jacksonville, as you said, they've got uh, Trevor Lawrence. They have their franchise quarterback. So they make the safe pick, and they take Aiden Hutchinson. And Aiden okay. Hutchinson is a safe pick. He's a clean pick. He has great work ethic. Uh, father was a hell of a player in the National Football League. Uh, he's he's JJ Watt on the budget, Coach. He, he's who? He's J.J. Watt on a budget. Well stated. Well stated. That's exactly who he is. He's, listen, he's physical enough to set the edge. He's fast enough and athletic enough to, to bend, bend the edge. Mm -hmm. So I like Aiden Hutchinson at one. You said it's now uh, at Detroit. Two. two. Detroit. Well, Mildred, we've said it on this show numerous times. If Detroit was smart, but they ain't, that's why they're Detroit, they trade back. 
And if they trade back, and you said it before, if you Call trade Cincinnati. back, you, who? Call Cincinnati. Because look, we got a righty with no tackle. He got us to the Super Bowl, and he was sacked more times than anybody in the history of the NFL. That's so we right. obviously got to get this man some help. That's right. That's right. And this year, there are three big time offensive tackles. You got Iki uh, Ekawunu. Ekawunu, yeah, from uh, uh, NC State. Uh, and I love him. I, yeah. Personally, I think he's the best one, uh, but I love him. You've got uh, Evan Neal, the from big Alabama. tackle from Alabama. And then you've got Cross, Charles Cross, the Charles big tackle Cross from Mississippi State. State. Those are three, three plums, three big time offensive tackles. And if, if I'm Detroit, I move back. Mm -hmm. I don't think they will. So I have them taking uh, the big tackle from NC State. Iki, 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 Ikawunu. I hope I'm Ikawunu, saying the young yeah. man's name right. Now, but let me tell you, hey, Slim, he's, let me tell you something, partner. He's long and he is violent. Yeah. Woo! He's a rolling oh, yeah. ball of butcher knives, boy. That boy the real deal. No question. Uh -huh. Now, they got, they got two picks, coach. They got two picks with the uh, 30th and the second pick. If Detroit does not take, if they don't trade down, you say they take the tackle with the second pick. Who yeah. do they take with the 30th? Well, okay. That's down the road. Well, we'll get them. I think Detroit will take one of them quarterbacks that's left over. Possibly uh, Ritter, Deshaun Ritter from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Possibly Howell from North Carolina. From, from North Carolina. Possibly, possibly even Matt Corral if he's still there. But okay. I think if Detroit Moments. don't trade – Detroit don't trade down. They gonna take a quarterback with that last pick. But let's get to Houston with three, Slim. Houston with three, coach. Houston with three. I like Houston taking the tackle, the tackle Neal from Alabama. From Alabama. Okay. And here's why. Here's why. Uh, David Cully told me numerous times I was excited about coming to work every day, knowing that Davis Mills was our quarterback. And, and Milton, I watched Davis Mills on some reruns on NFL Network, and I watched him on some on some uh, YouTube video. You can win with Davis Mills. Yep. So you take the best tackle that's left, and I think that's Neil. You take Neil. He's a plug-in guy. You might not have Larry Matunzel too much longer with free agency coming up. So I take the best tackle. I take Neil. Okay. And four. 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 Uh, the Giants. The Jets, Coach. The Jets. The Jets, I think they take Thibodeau. I think they take Thibodeau from Oregon. That's who I take. Okay. Robert Sela, defensive mind. Yeah, you got to get a good defensive player. Always say, number one way you win in football. Affect the quarterback. There you go. Mm -hmm. Five, uh, the Giants. The Giants. I think the Giants go for tackle. I look for the Giants to go for tackle. And that tackle that I got the Giants taking would be uh, – that's Possibly the, cross, the best one that's left might be cross, Bro. might be cross, but I think they take a tackle because they missed with Solder yeah. the tackle that they took in free agency from New yeah, England. From he New was England. a bust, mm -hmm. and and more than that, Mildred, if you believe in Daniel Jones, you got to keep the boy upright. So I think they take a tackle. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. at six, Coach Carolina. This is what we say it starts now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and listen, Matt Rule, no, he ain't got long for this world if he don't hurry up and win. And you ain't no way on God's green earth you going to make me believe that Matt Rule going into the 2022 season with Sam Darnold. <clears throat> that ain't happening. So I got the best quarterback on this board going. Malik Willis. Thank you very much. Got to be. Thank you got to be. Uh, Carolina, uh, not Carolina. Atlanta at eight, coach. Atlanta at eight. The quarterback huh? The Giants at seven. The Giants at seven. The Giants at seven. Let me tell you something, Mildred. I said it before. This is going to be a great year for wideouts in the draft. There are a number of. There could be as many as ten to twelve wide receivers to go in the first round. Make no mistake about it. The best one, Jameson Williams, University of Alabama. You putting a lot of stock in that kid, Coach. He just came off an of ACL tear. He I the best. That. 
let me tell you something, partner. Okay, let's 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 look at this scenario. Okay. They kick it out of the end zone. Alabama got the ball on the twenty-five yard line. What game is this? No, in any scenario, they, they kick it out of the end zone. Alabama got the ball on the twenty-five yard line. Okay. Jameson Williams split out wide. They throw a five-yard hitch to him. He turns. He catches it. He turns upfield. He breaks one tackle. Cue up the fight song. It's a rap. Let me tell you something, partner. He, hey, hey, your grand, your grandma used to put it this way. He'll go coast to coast on your ass before quick get ready. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Willie, Willie Jeffries used to put it this way. Yeah. He can boo boo on lightning. <laughs> he just <that> quick. <laughs> <laughs> imagine imagine the speed to where you have to be moving to where you can stop drop your, your pants, drop squat your down and crap on a bolt of lightning yes sir and and, 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 Jam and jameson williams can take a dump on lightning he's just that quick and explosive and let me tell you something partner make no mistake about it he he is well worth the wait no question so that's why i got him okay. going he will. Atlanta, Atlanta, He's the best, and he should go first. Why not? Atlanta, at Atlanta, at mm -hmm. I like quarterback again. I'm taking Pickett. I'm taking Pickett. And, okay. and let me let me tell you something. Kenny Pickett from the University of Pittsburgh can play. Can't play like he can't play like Malik Willis, nope. but he can play. Okay. Only question I have about Kenny Pickett is he tends to fumble the football. And let me tell you something, partner. If you fumbling in the ACC, that's where Pitt is, ACC. If you fumble in the ACC, what you think you're going to do in the AFC or the NFC? Because, brother, they hit a whole lot harder in the NFL <laughs> than they do in college. <laughs> yeah. but, but the boy can't play. So I got him going to Atlanta. All right. Mm -hmm. Seattle at nine. Ding, 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 ding. Trade. Here's a trade. First trade. All right. If you are Pete Carroll, 70-year-old Pete Carroll, you ain't got time to play. Okay? So, Malik Willis gone. Matt, uh, 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 Kenny Pickett gone. Okay. Now, now, whatever is left ain't good as the boy that you pick up the phone when you call San Francisco and tell them 49ers, what you want for Jimmy Garoppolo? <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, yeah. What's it going to take? <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Now, now, here's the key. They're both in the same division. Is, is, uh, How key are the 49ers to help out their division rivals? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the question. That's the, the Jets at 10, Coach. At Jets at 10, they make the safe pick, and they take Garrett Wilson from Ohio State. And here's why. If you really believe that that uh, Zach Wilson, your quarterback, is the real guy, you, mm -hmm. had two, you had two first. The first pick, you took Thibodeau, if I'm right. Okay? Yeah. Okay, no way we affect the quarterback. You get a yeah. good edge rusher. Now you got to address helping uh, – uh, Zach Wilson, your quarterback, who you took in the first round last year. So if you really believe in Zach Wilson, the safest pick, and I'll, I'm going to go record for saying this, the safest pick that can play is Garrett Wilson, the wide receiver from Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Coach, speaking of draft talk, before we get out of here, uh, okay. Kayvon but, Thibodeau. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, well, listen, no, hold up. Before we get to that, Sam. But before we get to that, two more teams I want to say. Two more. Just two more, okay? All before right. we get to Kayvon Thibodeau, I want to get this two more. Actually, it's more than two, but i got a couple I want to talk about. I know it's, I know it's going to be Baltimore because I know we're supposed to have Rex on the show. You and Rex work together. What, what's Baltimore going to do, Coach? We work with John 14. Harbaugh. John Harbaugh. At 14, what's Baltimore? John, John has got to get an impact player on defense, Okay. They were atrociously bad at giving up the big play. 
So he's got to get a plug-in impact player on defense. And I got him taking one of two guys. You either take Devin Lloyd, that linebacker from Utah, okay? But he's the real deal, okay? Okay? Or you get the big guy from Georgia, Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis. Move him inside, let him put his hand on the dirt. He's going to eat up to his TV. Ain't no one man going to stop him. He's going to eat up to, and you hoping that he is in Donican Sue. He ain't going to be no double digit sack guy, but you ain't looking for that. But you're hoping that he can be in Donican Sue and be a good, solid player for you. So, so Harbs, my brother, one of them two guys, John, you take Devin Lloyd or Jordan Davis. Now, Slim. You know I'm a Steeler fan. Uh, uh, Mike Tomlin with the 20th pick. Yeah, okay? Pittsburgh at 20. You talked about this earlier. Veteran quarterbacks that could be on the move. Time for a trade, John. Time for a trade, Mike. Pick up their phone and get Kyler Murray in Pittsburgh. Because you don't have no quarterback. You ain't got no quarterback. And Kyler Murray needs a strong black man to set him down and show him how to be a pro. There is no question about Kyler Murray's talent. No question. But uh, his dad is in his ear right here. Uh, He's looking at the dysfunctionality of the organization. You pay the GM and the head coach before you pay him. That's foolishness. But let me tell you one thing. He walk in that building with the Pittsburgh Steelers. There's going to be some order. Okay. Because they got certain ways they do things. And Mike Tomlin is a strong black man that can set that young man on the path to being the pro player that he is capable of being. So, okay, last but not least, Coach, the, the Kansas City Chiefs, they got yeah. the 29th and the 30th pick. What they do? And, and Slim, they got 12 picks. They got 12. And they need, and Slim, they need to take both of them because they can build it. It might take two wide outs to replace Tyreek Hill. It's definitely <laughs> going to take two. It's it definitely might, gonna take two. It might take two. So I've got, I have a Kansas City taking that boy Christian Watson from North Dakota State. And then they could probably come back and double down and take Traylon Burks from uh, Arkansas if he's there. They mm-hmm. could take Chris Olave from Ohio State if he's there. But they lost a great one. I get it. You wasn't gonna pay Tyreek what he wanted. So, but but let me tell you something. That's a man y'all lost, and it might take two wideouts. The last one, Slim World, this is correct with Cincinnati Bengals. Mm. Cincinnati Bengals. There is a kid at the University of Tulsa named Tyler Smith. Massive human being. I mean, six, seven, 320, 30 pounds, full full grown man yeah and 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 uh he will probably be there around pick number 31 so i like cincinnati to get up and he's a left tackle so i like him to plug in right there and be that left tackle that you talked about to protect joe burrow no question Mm -hmm. yeah now Kayvon thibodeau coach we didn't we did he was supposed to be back in August, supposed to be the first player taken in the draft. That's what everybody was talking about, but he fell off. Oh, uh, like off the face of the earth. What, what's what happened? Slim. That Thibodeau boy, Kayvon Thibodeau, mm-hmm. he's he's going in the first round. I got him going to the Jets, I think at four or five. There's no question about his ability. But the rap that you hear on him consistently is that he does not play hard. Okay? That's an indictment, Coach. That's an indictment. You, you, you dead gum skip it. That's an indictment, Slim. And I'm going to tell you something, Slim. It's an indictment against coaching. It's an yeah. indictment against coaching. Shame on you, Mario Cristobal. And I'm going to tell you why. Here's a young man who has the ability and has demonstrated the ability to play at such a high level that he's a top 10 pick and yet he has the tag on him that you can't trust him because he don't play hard all the time. Okay? Now, now, listen. Tell you something, Slim, did you ever notice this? Did you ever notice this? 
the University of Alabama, and Lord knows they done had many a first-round draft pick. But you ain't never heard a tell of a first-round draft pick coming from the University of Alabama that had the tag on him that they don't play hard all the time. Yeah, Nick Saban don't play that, Coach. <laughs> hey, I do you one better. I do you one better. You ever heard from a first-round draft pick from South Carolina State that said that they didn't work hard? Well, well Slim, Slim, and, and you're right. Let me tell you something. But see, we ain't South got Carolina, that no more. But see, South Carolina State don't have no first-round picks, too. Not too tough. Got no that. more. Got no that. more. Now, got now, back in the day, yeah, before, inter before integration, South Carolina State had lots of players who were first-round talent. But, but still, Buddy Pugh don't play that. Buddy Pugh don't play no. that, man. Hell no. Let me tell you <laughs> something. Uh, the maniac, hey, you don't hear that about this boy, Kobe Durant? Mm -hmm. You don't hear that about none of them players that come no uh -uh. but that's an indictment against mario cristobal no question man no mm -mm. no you know what coach you, you mentioned the kobe durant i want to say a quick shout out to those four players that got invited to uh this year's nfl combine uh, all right joshua williams like we like mm -hmm. we said uh mm -hmm. got the marquise durant, bell marquise bell and Jatari Carter from Southern. Jata the offensive lineman from Southern. The yes, offensive and, lineman and, from Southern. And congratulations to, to those young men. We'll be, pulling, we'll be pulling for you uh, during during this draft. No question about it. No question. Coach? Mm -hmm. Slim, Slim. And right quick, what you talking about, South Carolina State? Dude, did you see, man? They had the ring presentation. They got their rings. Man. They got their rings. Oh, it was beautiful, Coach. Ooh, it was yeah. Cool. Hey, hey shout did. out to my uh shout out to my album model Michael Strahan for buying the suits and the slacks. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, that was big time. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, man. <laughs> Tip my hat to you, Mike. Way to go, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. No question. Way to go, Mike. Way to go. Coach, it's beautiful being in the studio with you again. Man, just me and you, dog. Just that's the two of us. Dog, that's all we need, bro. That's all we that's need. That's the wheelhouse, coach. That's how we do it. <laughs> that's how we do it, man. <laughs> just me and you. But that's all we need. Tell my my love, all right. I'll do it, bro. Give my best to everybody so, in Dell yeah. City, Oklahoma City. Tell every one of them. I said, hey. And finally, this Thursday night, somewhere a young man from Aiden Hutchison to Mr. Irrelevant is not going to hear his name called rejoice rejoice young man and go to work you are in some elite company kurt warren john randall warren moon willie brown drew pearson all in canton ohio and all undrafted the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Nobody can determine your worth. And hey, that's how I see it. Six o'clock, straight up and down. That was real heartfelt, Coach. I felt that one. That you was felt nice. that one, dog. That was, that was nice. Coach. That you was felt nice. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Homespun Sports. Sports talk with a twist of down home wisdom. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, to not only catch this episode on YouTube, but iHeartRadio and Spotify for your listening and viewing pleasure. That's it. Make sure you guys got that bell turned on so you don't miss a single episode when we upload. We want you to make we want you to be the first people to hear our content. It's all live, it's all real, it's all you. It's premium, y'all. I'm telling you. Hey coach. Yeah, man. Let's go ahead and get up out of here like we can. We're gonna get up out of here right, right quick. Rest in paradise to the great Gramlinite and Houston Oiler, Garland Boyette. Rest in paradise, my brother. Slim! He ain't said nothing but a word, bro. What? He said...